So we're out here in a field that we were in earlier this spring, um, checking it out, doing some crop scouting. Um, this is my second worst field that I have. And when I say that, I mean by uh, soil quality, yield, year over year over year. I've been trying to make some changes with it, doing split applications of fertility and whatnot. Um, this field's got a CSR of roughly 30. Uh, for anybody who's familiar with land types, it's got a lot of 63B, 63C, and 63D, which is sand. Um, we put some hog manure on it last fall, put some calcium out there, and then we put some dry humate out. Went a little heavier on our sand knobs with some carbon dry humate. And uh, this year we were able to raise the highest yield that we've ever had on this. And I really wish I would have been able to see what the yield would be if we would have got more rain after July 15th, but we got roughly 30 inches, 28 to 30 inches up to July 15th. After that, we received less than two inches in almost 90 days. And it hasn't rained here in probably four weeks. Um, so this year we were able to attain roughly 190 bushel average off of this field. It's a small field, it's only 14 and a half acres, but it is some real light soil. Uh, just different management changes. Uh, split application fertility. Uh, we put some down with the planter. Um, in furrow starter 945.15 with some humic and some yucca and fulvic. And then we came back and side dressed uh, some UAN 32% nitrogen, uh, zinc, manganese, uh, humic and fulvic along with that as well and some sugar. Um, and then it, I mean it really performed good all throughout the season right up until the end we just kind of ran out of moisture and in lighter soil you're going to have that. I feel by adding the carbon and the humic it did hold the moisture longer. So that helped. This was also no-tilled into cover crop. So for that to attain that kind of yield is actually pretty pretty good for me considering this field's never been over 150 to 170 on a good year. So we got the yield map here. We got some spots right on this bottom here. There's a small chunk of really good ground and we were able to bounce the monitor all the way up to 325 and hold it for about four seconds. Majority of it was running 140 to 150 in the sandy spots, but the good couple good knobs we did get were up to 300. So uh, it was a 110 day hybrid uh, planted on Mother's Day. This was planted on Mother's Day because we had a rain spell there. We got rained out while planting. So we made some different changes. We were able to be profitable on this field, which is the major thing. Split application fertility and manage what we were putting out there. And uh, with the yield we got this year, we were pretty happy with that considering the type of soil.